And what's up everybody? I'm back with another roller coaster review. Yes! Uh it's another coaster that I get to review. It's pretty much like like my 52nd or 53rd credit, I think. Um, but this comes at the brand new Top Thrill 2. Yes. At Cedar Point. Um, the world's tallest and fastest triple launch coaster. I know that isn't a very um what would I say? Impressive goal, seeing that's pretty specific, but it is a record, no doubt about it. So now you might be oh the park opens today, how you already ridden the thing. Then you wait like seven hours for the ride and well, I got to go to the Season Pass Holder Preview event uh, back on Thursday, May 2nd. So about two days ago now. Time is going up. And I got to do it right at early. I only got one ride in, though. So, But I think for a ride like this, it's really all you need. So, I got a lot of thoughts, though. So let's jump right into it, shall we? Um, <clears throat> now, let's talk about the presentation for this ride. They did a lot of cool stuff for the presentation of this ride. Um, there's, like, a lot of racing theme stuff that they redid on the on the, on the the sidewalk. And um, they kept the bleachers from the original Dragster. That's pretty cool. Um, and they added new signs all over the place. And it's really, really cool um, stuff that they did outside. In the queue, not so much. But on the outside, they did good with the presentation. So, And it still definitely does dominate the skyline with the 420-foot top hat. And also now the 420-foot spike. Um, it's definitely very, very cool what they did there. So, gotta love that for sure. Um, but first, I want to talk about the uh, I want to talk about the stuff like before you board the ride, such as their locker policy. Now, the original Top Thrill Dragster didn't have that elaborate of a locker policy. I didn't. Uh, at least I don't remember. I remember I rode drag the original Dragster twice. That was about six years ago now. About five and a half, actually. And I don't remember it having that elaborate of a locker policy. Um, this ride has a very, very elaborate locker, locker policy for loose articles. You can't have anything on it. It reminds me of Steel Vengeance. Um, so you have to get a locker. And the lockers are apparently not free. They were free for the pass holder event. So I, I, that doesn't really affect my view on it too much. Um, but people are not going to like that. But also the lockers, they don't have nearly enough lockers. And when the ride gets stacked up, you have to wait for a locker. And then you get to jump in line for the ride. So that was annoying. But, you know, I, otherwise I thought it worked fine. Like, it's it's a locker. It's not something you want to do, but something you have to do. It's not anything crazy. And then, like, the, so when we go, we, we were getting in line for the ride, and we got, like, this, somebody stopped us, like, one of the employees stopped us, and was like, yeah, um, so you want to fill out this card, and, um, before, we're trying to take surveys about wait times for the ride, and you turn it in, and you get, uh, exit passes, we got exit passes, baby, Yep, we got exit passes. So that was pretty cool. That was completely unexpected, but it was really, really cool. No, nonetheless, um, all we had to do was literally just take this card with our information, and when we got to the front, we gave it to the attendant, and we got our exit passes, and we can use them on any ride at the park, except Top Duel 2 and Steel Vengeance for some reason. But still cool. Still cool for sure. Um, and then you walk in, and then there's the queue. <laughs> The queue isn't that elaborately themed, like I said uh, earlier, but the coverings definitely make a difference. Um, you know, I remember waiting in the original Dragster line, and it was just boiling hot because there's nothing covering. And I know the covers aren't necessarily for sun protection, or as much they're for preventing what happened to the original Dragster that made it close anyways. But it's still a cool, like, covering thing. It was a little chilly when we were there, so we didn't really notice it that much, but... Uh, I definitely think when people, in the summertime, people are going to definitely like that. So, good addition there. Um, and then you get on the ride. And I, I definitely think the boarding and the unloading and loading stations are much better for Top Soul 2 than they are the original Dragster. Um, well, actually, they kept the same stuff for the original Dragster Top Soul 2. It's probably kind of like what Millennium Force is. 
you unload in one spot and load in a different spot so that there's not a lot of stacking up in that in that sense and they run three trains which is less than the original dragster i think the dragster ran six and they now are only running three um but really i it's it's hard to, to run more than three. Let's just say that. It would be really it would be unnecessary to run more than three because you'd have stacking issues. So um and then I also barely fit. I gotta talk about these restraints. Okay. I gotta talk about these restraints. They are weird. For no reason. Okay. The original dragster had a seatbelt and a lap bar. It worked just fine. This ride's got this, like, giant bulky bars that you pull down from the top. And there's no seatbelt, by the way. How how they ever decided that no seatbelt was fine, I don't know. <coughs> but I guess you don't need a seatbelt when you literally have to staple yourself into this thing. It reminded me, the, the restraint style kind of reminded me of uh, Skyrush, actually, kind of, at Hershey Park. But the actual like stapling reminded me of the BNM wing, uh, the BNM vest restraints with Gatekeeper and Valraven. And if you know those, I have a hard time fitting into those. And so you know what? I had a really hard time fitting into this one too. It's because they have those dumb automatic sensors that will only go off unless it's actually touching the other part. And I got just so close, but I did they did get me on. But I'm gonna start taking efforts to uh make sure that doesn't happen again so stay tuned for that anyway um so but we got on and yeah no seat belts do it's just really bulky and you really i was like okay i was more against it before i rode let's say that now let's talk about the ride itself we're seven minutes in this review and i've only talked about the pre-ride experience i tell you what I remember the original Dragster. It's kind of launches from 2018, and they were powerful launches. But this one is off the charts, because not only are you going forward, and then you go up, and literally you are staring straight into the sky. It is insane. Even in the back row, you are still staring straight into the sky, because I rode back row. And it is crazy how, like, you're just staring straight up it is a surreal experience i gotta tell you what and then you go backwards 101 miles an hour backwards the launch the first launch got me good and the backwards launch got me too i've never gone that fast in reverse and i don't know if i'll ever go that fast again in reverse or faster than that i guess i should say because i plan on riding this more when i get the chance to except the lines are going to be insane we'll talk about that in a little bit but and then the back spike from the back row, by mind you, that backwards spike, you don't go all the way up the 420 feet, sadly. Um, but my God, do you go so high up and you hang there. You wait, When you go up the first time and then back, you get an insane amount of hang time on this ride. And it's surreal. It is so much fun, though. And then, of course, you go down and you launch... Uh, 120 miles an hour again, and and then you go um, up the top hat, and then my God, you get some insane like I, I the ride wasn't rough I would say, but I was going like I was going like that down the down the straightway, and then we go up, and the G forces you get on this thing are crazy going up that top part. And then you hit the twist. You hit the twist, and I'm like and thrust it off to the side. And I'm like, oh, I guess this is why you don't just have just a lap bar, because you probably would die. Um, and then you get some really good airtime going up the top hat, even though I was stapled. I still did feel a good amount of airtime. And then you get whipped over the whipped over going down the back and going down the twist. It's just the twists are probably I gotta say that twist was just insane i was thrown i was thrown like 90 degree angle off to the side the entire way down it was crazy it's a surreal experience and you get some insanely good speed you are just flying and i feel like with the spike and the triple launch you get more time to process it 
just enough time to process it, in my opinion. You know, with the original Dragon Star, it's really hard to process it, especially with just one ride, because it's so fast. But this one, you have a little more time to process what you're doing, and so, therefore, you can, like, you're not just, like, you're not done with the ride, and you're like, what just happened? I mean, you're still like that. I was like that anyways. But it's a little easier to process it, you know? I like that. Um, and it also increases the ride time as well. It's more of a respectable ride time than just 17 seconds. So they advertise it as a two-minute ride time. It is not two minutes. I got the I got from the launch to the end in one short. I already uploaded it less than a minute. Less than a minute. Why are you doing false advertising, Cedar Point? Come on. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> now the last thing before I get my rating on it. The one big thing that a lot of people were hoping would be fixed with the new Dragster was the downtime issues from the old Dragster. And while it's at this point, it's hard to determine if that's truly a big improvement or not, is to be determined because the ride's only had a few days of operation, getting its first full day as we speak right now. Um, so what's it like? But I gotta say, it's not fixed. The ride broke down three times while we were in line. Three times. That's a lot. Especially for a brand new coaster, that's a lot. Thankfully, one of them times was just to apparently get a new train on the track so they could run more people through. The other two times, I don't know what happened. And thankfully, they fixed them pretty quickly, though, both times. So, you know, that was that was good. But, um, yeah, so, cool. Cool stuff, for sure. Um, definitely... Uh, really, really good ride, I gotta say. Um, a must-do at the park. You gotta note those restraint systems, though. If you're a guy with bigger thighs, good luck. Because you are not... It might... It's gonna be It's gonna be a nail-biter. And they might not let you ride. So just know that um, when you go in. There was an employee from Zamperla... Because this is a Zamperla redesigned the coaster. There was an employee from Zamperla there like, in the station, and I wanted to tell her, I didn't tell, I didn't say anything to her, but I wanted to tell her, yeah, maybe lighten up with these damn restraints, lady, so more people can ride your coaster, that's what I'm, that's what I was thinking to say, but no, I didn't, um, but that's really all I gotta say for this review, is it better than the original Dragster, I think a lot of people are wondering that, is it going to be better, um, it's hard to say if it's better than the original. The launch on the original one was much more powerful. But the ride experience on this one is longer and you get the backward spike. So... Uh, it's really your preference. Personally, I think Top Thrill 2 is better. Because of... It's a dumb name though. I gotta say, dumb name. Dumb, dumb name. But the, the backwards element, the extra ride length, and I thought the launch was just as powerful, if not more powerful. And it's a longer ride experience. So you gotta take that into account. And I think that's why Top Total 2 is better. But but that's all I gotta say for this review. If you've if you've gotten the chance to ride Top Total 2, I love to yeah, I wanna know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. What do you think of my thoughts on the ride too? And uh, that's going to do it, though, for this review. Stay tuned for much more amazing content, including more coast reviews if I can get to new parks and try and ride them. And until next time, see you guys later. Goodbye.